Hi, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Um, we just completed uh, boring out a pair of wheels and we're getting ready to broach out the keyway. And we we're all at the size and we've checked it with our, our uh, gauge. Now these are a tapered bore and we're going to broach the keyways in a tapered bore. And I'll show you how we do that here at Turn Right. Alright, uh, this is a general platform here for all of our straight. It's just a ring, we move it out, we, you know, it's just part of our setup. But we're real comfortable with it a lot of times. Now, we're going to be uh, broaching, but it's not going to be a straight hole. It's going to be off at an angle. So we want to semi-create a straight travel for this to be pushed through. And I do that simply by adding 3 8 of an inch to the leading face of this ring. And it does sit there. I mean, we're pushing basically in the center here, and the width here is supporting it. It always has. It works out fine. Now, we want to choke in close to our diameter of our prop, uh, but leave room for the brooch to travel. And we have several different rings we throw up here for different diameters. Now, we put up a prop here with the small end of the board out at the bottom. And... I know the sun is murder coming in the window here for video, but um, this is a brooch guide that I've made that feeds the brooch through. And as you push it, the teeth progressively take more and more with the, each tooth as it passes through the bore. And then you back up your next pass with a shim. Now, I give up on buying shims for the the brooch kits and things like that. I save all my metal banding materials that come in off of shipped in items and I create my own shim to go behind there out of those throwaway pieces of uh, strapping that you usually throw away. So we insert our brooch guide and we're going to go in the existing spot where the old keyway was. Both of these did have keys in them. And we're kind of centering that up. And we just lock it in. All right, now we know it's not going to rotate. Now your first push through with the brooch is without any shim guides.
Looks like one more. This is a half inch keyway, so halfway is a uh, quarter inch. And you always want to make sure that you're not going to be key bound. You want at least five, five, ten don't hurt you. dressing on the side there this is ready to go and uh, the most important thing is to put a piece of key stock in here ensure that you are fitting fine and you did a fine job there we go